Hello everyone. As part of our research, we talked to many stakeholders who have adopted DAPs within their organizations. Be it CIOs, HR leaders, or the product teams, most of them faced some challenges during the journey. So in this video, I will be sharing some challenges enterprises typically face as they embark on this journey and some best practices um, they can follow along the way. Lack of understanding of DAP, its use cases and applicability are some of the most common challenges that enterprises face. This is not surprising as this is typical for any fast growing market. Another challenge enterprises face is identifying the relevant stakeholders. Organization wide DAP initiatives typically involve multiple stakeholders and questions around who should be driving the initiative and who should be facilitating it typically crops up. Then there are other challenges around tracking of metrics and benefits and maintaining the content standards. Some of the best practices that we have seen from DAP adopters involve getting the right talent, setting the right policies, and designing appropriate governance structures in the form of steering committees or centers of excellence. As the market continues to grow, we believe that there are three key things to look forward to. Firstly, DAP projects will become more proactive, organization-wide, and embedded into the broader digital strategy. Secondly, investments in technology will continue to increase to support multiple use cases, applications, and platforms. Lastly, we believe that the DAP partner ecosystem with services partners and ISVs will evolve and become more mature. That brings us to the end of this DAP video series, but do watch this space as we will be sharing more insights from our DAP peak matrix study. Thank you.